I'm Roger. And I'm Adam. And welcome to another one of RC Street Shop's Product of the Week. Yes. Look at that. I'm in heaven. I know, you're a nerd. <laughs> so, as you can tell here, we have something a little bit different for you today. Aren't these remote control? No, they're not remote control. You should know better than anyone, nerd. <laughs> Uh, this, these are collectible robot toys, uh, and this is a different genre than we're normally showing you on the show, but it's really cool. Uh, we got these in the try and try and take a little different avenue. We're not ditching yeah. remote control. I was just going to say, like, we're everyone panicking, oh my god, the remote control's going away. Trust no, no. me, you look around, that's all that's here. No, no, you, we just wanted to try and dip our toe into a different market with some stuff. So for those that don't so, know. Right. I came from a, a long storied history of dealing with collectible toys, and I was particularly into Japanese robot toys, things like that. Are there robots that aren't Japanese? Maybe. Okay, well anyway. Yeah, there's a few. Yeah, but they suck. This is true. <laughs> the cool ones are always Japanese. Right. Well, Pacific Rim. Was that a... No, that was an American Jaeger. That ultimately. So. Okay, before you nerd out, please, <laughs> okay, please right. conti concentrate you and see, continue. You see the point here is that I do have a love for this. And as much as I'm enjoying RC, um, the conversation came up with the holidays coming. Hey, would you be interested maybe in trying to add some of that stuff to the shop? Because we have folks who come in or are gift shopping and they're right. looking for things. And right. So... Here they are. Basically, this is the line of toys from Acid Rain. Mm -hmm. uh, Acid Rain World is sort of a toy line by a Hong Kong toy designer named Kit Lau. Uh, he's been doing these for a few years. Believe it or not, I know you're watching a video. These look like highly detailed models. I assure you, this is a, a actual proper... Toy. Yeah, these do share a lot with like a scale model, but they're they're... You can use them, you can play with them, but they have all the detail that you would see in a regular model. Like if you were to Very build a so. build a boat model or build a tank or build whatever it may be, the detail in these is just as thorough, just as just as detailed as you would find in any scale model. But what's cool about them is they're designed so you can mess with them, pose them, pose play them. with them. Right. So I if mean, you don't touch it once, it doesn't break. I mean, it's, and that was that was kind of what blew me away. So the line started with limited run, posable action figures like you see down here. And as the line became more popular, you started adding his vehicles, uh, things like the Stronghold here. This has been a crowd favorite for a long time. It's my favorite. It is. It, not my personal favorite design. I'm not a big fan of the old school blocky robot design, but apparently a lot of people really love this one. Oh, yeah. I took this one home this weekend. And this is technically, this is the product of the week, is the MK2 Sand Speeder right. from the Acid Rain toy line. And. Um, Little bit on the pricey side for a toy, you know, depending on where you're looking around, you'll be paying between 150 and 170 But look, you guys are buying remote control cars for $800, so don't so, give us this. I don't want to these hear toys that. are too expensive. So we got these in uh, very late on Friday before we closed up, and I, I said, as we were going to throw, I'm going to grab one of these and take a, some time to get to know it, see how I like it. And uh, I'll be honest, I'm now buying this one. This one is coming home with me. <laughs> I am so impressed with it. It looks like a very loved, labored over model kit. Right. Um, as folks can see, I'm showing you all sorts right. of For those of who are non nerds, um, or different kinds of nerds, mm -hmm. this is the, the little speeder as a vehicle. Mm -hmm. And this is the vehicle, this is it transformed into a robot. And, you know, I'll show you in video while we're talking. It transforms quite simple. But yeah, it goes back and forth. We got two of them out here. Um, this is a mass-produced toy. Uh, they are still hand-weathered, hand-detailed by the factory. No two are alike. Let me repeat that. These are hand-weathered. Yeah. That is a unique concept to those of us in the remote control, where everything is built by a machine or some factory in China. These are assembled and they're hand-painted. That is amazing. So like Adam said, because they're being painted by hand, no two are identical. Yeah. So you're gonna you can buy this speeder and uh, this one here and this one here are a little bit different. They really by are the detail, by the, the coloring. Yep. It's amazing that they can do this in a production run that and and, and do still do things by hand with the details. It's it's incredible. This is a really, really nice um, piece of art. It, and it's posable and it's beautiful. But it's a really fun, playable toy. And as a robot toy, and these, these are some of the things that are important to me, 
is uh, it's got some really nice tight ratchet right. joints. These are really, really important. It's very, very articulated. And uh, it's nice. You, you can, you know, it's hard to convey this stuff over a video. Yeah. But the, uh, the, it's a very formidable feeling piece. It, like, you don't feel it, it doesn't feel cheap. Uh, the way that they ratchet through and how intentional it feels, it goes click, yeah. click. I mean, it's, it, 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 you can feel the quality of the components in it. So when you start to think about how much it costs, it doesn't really seem that absurd once you touch it and feel it and play with it because Ooh. it is a really high quality hand built component. You can't do stuff like this Ooh. without it being expensive. And it really, I mean, like Adam said, this is these are amazing. The the, the labor of love that goes into building these little robots is, is impressive, especially in today's market where yes. everything is just kind of spit out and thrown out into the into the market. And, and you know, and that's the key thing. Um, you know, the U.S. domestic buying a little toy for little Johnny at Christmas is um, you know the stuff we get at the you know your Star Wars toys, your GI Joe figures, Target. Target. Yeah. Those are all fine, but that's a fifteen or a ten or a twenty dollar action figure. Right. You're not going to get. This is a grown up toy. This is a grown up. Just toy. like your remote control cars. Yeah. This is a grown up toy. Uh, and as a grown up who likes these kinds of toys, let me tell you, believe the hype. These things have been around for a few years. This is my first chance getting uh, some time to handle these. Um, if you know you grew up on Robotech and GI Joe and Star Wars and Mask and that right. kind of stuff, um, this may be right up your alley. Um, you know, Mask was the first thing I lit on fire. Was it really? Oh yeah. Oh, shame on you. It was such a great toy line. <laughs> it it really was like any other plastic. It really was such a great toy line. So to bring it back to this, uh, we're kind of gushing. We're a little all over the place. Yeah, Roger well, these are super doesn't cool. know how to talk about robot toys. I do, but and I'm I fine. haven't talked about a robot toy to an audience in years. So well, a toy's a toy, whether it be a remote exactly. control car or a. But yeah. I was as giddy as a school kid when I came in here this morning. Was like, oh my god, this thing is great. It does everything the the way a robot toy should. Um, you know, it's uh, as a vehicle. You know, these are real rubber tires. Yeah, I'm enamored with the detail. Like this has a pickaxe and a shovel down here on his yeah. feet, yeah. and they come off, and you can put them in the character's hands. So if you want this guy to dig you a ditch, he'll, he dig, can, a he'll ditch. dig a ditch, a small ditch, a <laughs> scale ditch, but a scale it's a ditch. ditch. But there will be a ditch. Um, these containers here open up, uh, and you can put things in them. Speaking of putting things in them, I wanted to show this off. You know, again, sort of the. Uh, the detail he gives you. So your instructions are actually for the speeder. And this seems to vary from release to release, although this seems to be what he's doing lately. He gives you a poster of the cover art. Yeah. By the way, let me point this out. The art of box art is a lost art. Right. A lot of art in there. Uh, right. You know, toys in the 70s often came like this. Painted, Beautiful. Right, I agree with you. The only company that our viewers would be familiar with that yeah. still does good box art is Tamiya. Yes. Tamiya yes. does incredible box art, and they're the only company left that really has can appreciate, like you said, the art of box art. And then, so you know, uh, the artist Kit Lau, he creates these dioramas when he's building these up, when he's sharing this stuff on social media. Um, he does these little scenes, and he'll make these guys look like they're off duty and relaxing in between things. Right. And uh, he Because being a figure is hard. Because being a figure, being an action figure is hard. Um, he includes this paper craft stuff. So these are, if I, you know, I'll zoom in, you can see these are letters, little tiny scale letters. And what else? Photos to put in the letters, handwritten letters, newspapers, looks like um, files set from the front line. Mm. You know, so they give you... A, Obviously, a lot of TLC put into this, and uh, really, you, you know, if you if you are remotely into toys and you've seen these things around, trust me when I tell you. Like you, I've been looking at pictures for a few years, and uh, it does nothing for uh, driving home how awesome these are until you actually get them in hand. In you know, something just hit me. What's that? Is uh, for you rock crawling nerds. Mm -hmm. These figures are awesome. You could make your post-apocalyptic wraith build and oh, put yeah. this dude in there, and he's gonna fit right in. The good news is the figures are much more affordable. They are limited run as well. Same thing. They are hand uh, weathered and detailed. Uh, they're just like a GI Joe figure. Even removable helmets. Uh, the flat jacket on this guy comes off. Uh, really poseable. Uh, again, like I said, I spent the weekend 
variously hanging him on this from different points of view. And I thought this was a fun feature here in the back. Uh, you've got, you know, they have foothold pegs, just mm -hmm. like on G.I. Joe figures. You can get them to hang on to the back of the mech, so if you've got extra figures, they can hang out and join the battle. So, you know, 30 bucks for a figure is not bad. I mean, if you rock crawling guys, you spend $45 on a metal roof rack. 35 bucks for an amazing figure that will fit right into your, your, your scale build. Uh, Follow our Instagram. I'm sure we're going to be making that happen in the next couple of weeks. I don't know. See, I'm me, wanna go, yeah, well, see me doing clever things with right. the figures and RC vehicles. Exactly. But the point is, uh, we know that there's some crossover. I have already had conversations with folks here yeah. in the store. I really would like to encourage you folks to come check them out. Christmas is coming. You want a unique gift. It's the kind of thing that uh, if you got a nerd of in your life of some sort or another. Or someone you want to be a nerd. Someone, some of you want to be a nerd, you want to get your nerd on, trust me, this is a good place to start. Uh, I will gladly take my time and show these to you. I'll even let you touch them. But don't tell. Uh, it, where is this magical place that people can actually come touch our acid brain toys? I promise we're not all that creepy. <laughs> I'm kidding. RC Street Shop, 5521 East Spring Street, Long Beach, California. 9080 And uh, if folks want to give us a phone call, is there somewhere they can do that? They sure can. You do it on the telephone. And the number is 562-425-9000. I work with them every day, folks. Every day. Uh, let's see. If you prefer, you can send us an email, info at rcstreetshop.com. For real, these are for sale. Uh, we're working on a website. It's coming. Uh, otherwise, we would have been pimping RC product to you a long time ago and telling you. Because we get people are asking all the time where you sell. Website is coming. In the intro, come visit the shop. Give us a call. Hit us up on eBay. These are listed there. RC Street Shop sale. Look for us. If you want to see what we're doing, you can check that out. And uh, we'll, we'll talk. We'll work yeah. a deal. We love the 80s, so we're not on, on the internet. Exactly. Uh, let's see. We are doing the social media thing. We are on Twitter. We are. We are? Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We do the tweeting thing, RC Street Shop, all one word, right there. We're also doing the Instagram thing. Here's where it gets complicated. Are we ever? RC Street Shop. Lots of rock crawling RC there. Action mm -hmm. underscore, underscore toys. Is us as well, but I'm posting pictures of toys. Action yeah. underscore toys. Yeah, there you go. So, there we go. Check that out. Uh, let's see. We are doing the Facebook thing, RC Street Shop as well. Like the page if that's your thing. Uh, let's see. I feel like YouTube. Of course, you're watching this video. We do appreciate it. We do this every week. And you guys, seriously, I think ev almost every single day in the last two weeks... When I have been out here helping ring customers, I help at least one person a day who says, I watch you on YouTube all the time. Yeah, we love it, guys. Thank you. I, I, I really, really do appreciate you coming in and checking us out. Right. Um, like the video. But more importantly, subscribe! subscribe! Hit that subscribe button. Do it. We really appreciate it. We really appreciate all the feedback. Let your friends know we're doing these. We'll see you next week. Make your mama proud!